Welcome back to Car Mechanic 2014 with the Rude Man. And we're back in our garage. In the last episode, we just took this new job. Examined the shock absorbers and springs. I bought myself a new car, but the ride is very hard. I'm not sure if it is something wrong with the sp suspension or if it's meant to be like this. So let's uh, take a look at the car. First of all, um, we have this thing right here. We can test the suspension, I think. So let's check it out. Okay, so we're checking the brakes. So we're going to hold the brakes down. Yeah, it looks like the brakes are good. Let's check the rear brakes. Hold the brakes down. And the rear brakes are good. Let's check the suspension. <laughs> like, a, like you're in a paint can. Well... That didn't seem too bad. That was good fun. Well, I don't know how conclusive that was. It certainly wasn't a hundred percent. So there's uh, no substitution for actually taking a physical look. So let's uh, let's do it. First, we'll take the tires off, and then we'll spin around. The brakes were good, so we're not going to look at the brakes. But let's. See if we can't uh, take a look at the suspension. I think this needs to come off. And then we can look at this. Got four bolts on that. And that spring is pretty bad. So we'll take it out. Let's run around the other side. All right, same thing on this side. Let's take a look at that spring. only 5% so we'll take that out okay so let's like uh, look at our inventory and we've got one springs 5% one is 15 tires are good everything else is good so let's uh, let's replace those springs and I'm almost positive that you cannot repair a spring but yeah no go so let's run over to the computer. Look for some parts. And before we do that, let's see. We've got $4,000. And we're all level 3 on everything. But it's $2,000. Wow. Um, I'm going to get a little bit more money before I do that. Let's go to here. And we're looking for springs. Alright, 
right, so we have different springs. We have springs for the front and springs for the rear. And is that it? That is it. Okay, so this would be the front. We know we need two of those. So let's buy two of those. Yeah, we're getting a pretty good discount. 225 from 240. So let's pop those on and then we'll check the rear. Spring on, and we'll put the shock shock absorber on. Bolt it in, and do the other side. I'm gonna leave the wheel off for the time being, just in case I uh, need to go back in there for some reason, which I do. I didn't put the tie rod thing back. Or the sway bar. I didn't put the sway bar back. All right, underneath here, and put a new spring on. It's back on. put this back on. Okay, let's take a look at the rear and see what we find back here. Take the tire off. And let's see, is it easier to go to the back here? And how do we get that off? Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> Shock absorber looks good. How do we get that off? Um, let's see, suspension arm, okay, maybe we have to lift it to take the rear off, let's try that. Perhaps that's the secret. It's bad, we can see that. Okay, so how does it come off? That is good. <clears throat> See if we can get the other side. That one is bad also. Isn't that strange? Looks like we need to take the muffler off to get to that one. Do some shopping. Let's just double check and see what we've got. 
Okay, that was bad, 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 bad. Everything else is good. We can buy two of those. These are cheaper, isn't that interesting? $141. They are smaller springs, looks like. Okay, let's put the spring back there. And we'll put this back on. Pop over to the other side. Put that one back. Put this back. All right, and we need to put the muffler back on. And we have very long arms. All right, I think that was it for this. We can set this back down. And put the wheel back on. That's weird, the uh, tires all had the same wear on them. That's kind of unusual, especially if you have a suspension issue. Well, let's, I'm no mechanic, but that would be my opinion, I guess. Um, I think we're done. Anyway, we shall find out a real soon. Okay, first thing I want to do is take a look at my parts. All right, I'm nothing but bad parts. That's a good sign. Let's take a look at the repair order. We have a check mark, and we are done. Okay, find the solution. That's never a good sign, by the way. I haven't driven my car for two months, and it won't start anymore. It's an Asian Cougar 2011, and they're going to give us $600. Never a good sign. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with the car. It doesn't do anything. Fix it. Uh, well, first of all, let's get rid of these. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I actually meant to do this and get rid of this stuff. All right, and then let's take a look under the under the hood. First of all, look at that battery. That can't be good. Let's see if we can uh, inspect anything here. Let's inspect the battery. 2%. Goodness gracious. So we know that has to go. So let's get that out of there. Alright. What else can we look at if it won't start? That would be the first thing to check. So And the easiest. Let's... $600 for a new battery? Cool. First of all, oh, I don't think we can repair a battery, but let's take a look. Maybe it just needs spit and polish and a charge. Oh, we can repair it. But for how much? $169, we can repair the battery. Let's go see what a new one costs. B 
for battery. Right there, 350. So we could save a little bit of money by repairing the battery. So let's go ahead and do that because I'm all in it for the money, right? And let's put it back in the car. It is 100% now. All right. Let us see what this looks like now. Was that all there was for 600 bucks? Really? <laughs> cool. Made a little money on that one. Okay, we have an Olsen Grand Club 2012. Find the solution. Oh, another one. My engine stops working sometimes for about a half a second. Uh, does that make any sense? My engine stops working sometimes for about a half a second. Does that mean it stops working for a half a second and then it runs? Or it runs and quits after a half a second? I was in another garage, but they didn't find anything. I don't have time to drive from one mechanic to the other, so money is not an issue here. Oh my goodness, 5,000 buckers. Ugh. All right. Let's take a look. It's kind of an ugly color. Is that gold or yellow? Well, first of all, it won't start or it won't keep running. Let's take a look at everything. Battery is good. Okay. Let's look at the ignition, if we can. Well, we're in examine mode, but it won't let us examine anything. Do we have to take something off first? I don't think this one's going to be easy. What's that? That's the alternator. So it's not going to let us inspect anything. We're going to take stuff off, I guess. So let's take this thing off first. So that we can get to the nitty gritty. And let's take a look at... Let's take a look at the wiring. And let's see if we can uh, get to the uh, spark plugs. Not without taking that off, huh? Oh, there we go. Well, it'd be nice if we could just kind of inspect those, wouldn't it? Without taking them off. Okay, the cylinder head's good, but that's not what we're trying to look at. Man, you got to be right on those things, don't you? All right, spark plug is good. That one's not. Okay, so let's... Uh, let's 
take that one out. Let's look at the ignition. And let's spin around the other side. Wait a minute before we do that, though. I want to take a look. Okay, one spark plug is good. One is bad. The ignition module is bad. The wiring is good. So let's go back in. And let's put... Um, we want to put that back. See if we can get down here. Man, you gotta really. All right, let's put that one back in, and let's spin around the other side. First of all, we take the wiring off. Take this uh, module off, and let's look at the spark plugs. Let's see if we can inspect them. That one's bad. That one's good. That one's good. So we have this one over here that needs to come off. All right, let's go, and I, I don't understand why another garage couldn't have, saw, uh, have solved that problem. Of course, I don't know if that's complete yet, but we'll find out. Okay, spark plugs. Do we only have one variety? Looks like it. Okay, so we needed two of those, three of those. I don't remember. Let's take a look before we get too confused. Okay, one, two bad spark plugs and two bad ignition mo modules. And it looks like the wiring is all good. So, okay, so we need two of those. Now, wait a minute, the ignition modules is that a special kind? Nope, just ignition modules. And here we go again. So we need two of these. Jeez, 28 bucks for a spark plug. And ignition modules. $705 each. Well, that's going to eat up my $5,000. But again, what kind of a mechanic did he go to in the first place? All right, let's uh, let's see. That's good. We need to put in this one over here. All right, let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Oh, I want to put it in. that one in and then let's put the uh, module back and the wires spin around the other side easier said than done looking in the inside of an engine and spark plug module and some wiring back all right and then we need to put this thing back let's see how we did nope 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 what did we miss? Did 
There must be something else. Um, well, let's take a look at the starter, I guess. Or the alternator. There's the starter. Can we examine it? That would help. It's not the starter. Okay, that belt is good. Let's uh, take that belt off. And let's see if we can inspect the alternator. Nope. Alternator's good. And we did check the battery. All right, I guess we gotta take that thing off again. And let's take that. Take that. And let's take this. We need fuel, air, and com and ignition for an engine to start. So let's check the filter. And it's good. Okay. Alright, let's... Uh, look at our parts again everything's good everything's good let's go underneath and look at the fuel that doesn't look good not good so Let's take that off. And that's the fuel pump. Let's take a look at that if we can. And let's take a look. Okay, so the fuel pump is good, but the fuel filter is bad. So let's, uh, computer, let's purchase a fuel filter, let's see, I need to go up, fuel pump, fuel filter, okay, and we're going to go back under, we're going to go down under, going to Australia. All right, um, what's going on? Let's put back the boy. Sometimes you got to hit it just right. Drop it down. Put our other parts back on. Alright, what did we take off? We took off. Filter cover back on. I'm actually surprised the filter was good.
Okay. Let's take a look at parts. Do we have any good parts? Yes, we still have good parts. We need to put the alternator back on and the cover and I forgot that I'd taken that stuff off. Let's see. So we'll put that back on. And the belt back on. And the cover. Let's take a look. We have it. We have it. So five thousand dollars. Let's uh, close the uh, close the hood. All right. So that's it for this episode. Let's. Uh, I'll, I'm going to check this in the next episode because once I do this, it's going to give me another job. So when I come back, I'll uh, select that. In the meantime, I hope you had fun, and I wish you all a good day, and I'll see you next time.